So let's start about Solana. I regret not buying this. I'm going to explain why, but I also have reservations that maybe, yeah, at some point in the future, this may well do something that we may not expect. But for Solana holders here, if you've been buying low, well done. It's been a great little run. And I don't think it's finished yet. I think this could go much, much higher. But as I said, there's always that big gray area between Sam Batman Freed, FTX, I made a research and all that stuff. Some things have came out this week that's probably a little bit of interest, but when we look at the chart, risk to reward here, it's not looking bad, is it? Not looking too bad, right? Did price predictions before. Feel free to check out the video, which is here somewhere, I don't know. But yeah, feel free to check out. I also do analysis on my Patreon around certain things in terms of videos on a Tuesday around certain assets. Solana's pretty popular and, and probably understand why. Anyways, let's talk about the obvious here. I've been very bearish on it during 2022. You can see this, 28th of May, it's going sub 20. Now, 28th of May, 2022, was a very, very interesting sort of area. So roughly around here, about 60 to $50, right? Already had a horrific bear market prior to that, obviously. And it obviously got a little bit worse. Now, I was looking at buying, publicly talked about this in June, like $10, and I wish I did it. So this is a whole element of investor regret. Sticking to the principles of what you know, key levels of solid assets. But as we know, and what transpired was something very different happened that we weren't expecting. FTX imploded. On Medivisa, you get the idea, right? So that being said, go with your gut. And if you understand that the asset's okay, go for it. Now, I obviously tickled myself and went, nah, bollocks of that, I'm not doing it. So I do regret it, but let's talk about certain things. In the news now, we're getting a lot of this. FTX recently moved 3,000, no, 300,000, sorry, Solana tokens worth over $10 million, which has raised some eyebrows. And this will, this this to me, right, and I want to just refrain this and so you fucking understand it. If you are comfortable at buying like $10 and you're happy, cool. But if you're buying on top of a big run and you're seeing news like this, this might unsteady you a little bit. So this is one thing that I will say as a big disclaimer, not financial advice. There's probably going to be a lot of news like this that's probably going to come out and you're going to get a bit wibbly wobbly over FTX, as I say, Sam Bankman Freed, the court case. And I will come on to that in a second. Now, as you can imagine, it's a lot of tokens to be thrown around, right? So just be careful. There's also other tokens, not just this, by the way, but Solana's a big one. Solana might soak this up, no bother at all, because it's got a lot of volume. So bear that in mind as well. Another element, and I said it before, we talk about this, and again, it's on more and more research kind of papers. It's on more and more information regarding the FTX, uh, where the money's came from, and all kinds of stuff with the financial kind of element of it around the court case. The reason why I talk about this is obviously because of this. Sam, Manf uh, Sam Bankman Free, there we go, has stated in his testimony that he was buying at 20 cents using Almeda Research Profits, right? So this is huge as a factor in terms of why he liked it. He was buying it really low and yeah, fair play, really nice. But it was stuff like this, which is always good fun to watch. But the reality is, right, and this is why I've talked about it at Samcoin, you know, because it is, and you can't get away from it. That's kind of the one element that you got to look at. And yeah, you could probably argue, yeah, great if you're a holder, if you bought in 2020 and it went all the way up and up and up and it carried on going, you probably think, wow, this is the best investment I've ever had. But you've also got to look at the fact that how much money was put into this via the elements of, let's just not talk about it. Where did that money come from, right? So that's a big factor. When we go back to the chart and we think, well, where can it go? And I've already spoke about this in previous videos. There's a massive amount of upside here. But you've also got to remember, this has done a fantastic, oh God, a fantastic job since the bottom. Consolidated for a bit, had a big deviation down, went back up and then pulled back into a level range. And that we're off to the, the races again, right? The reality is here, and we, let's talk about it. This has been a massive growth, huge growth, 106%. This is kind of the critical zone where you're going to start getting more and more people interested in it. If I was a betting man, which sometimes I am, I like a flutter, this level here will probably get retested at some point in the future. It has broken out of a key level since roughly January 2023. Huge level. It's failed a number of times and we've gotten right above it. 
you're probably expecting a pullback. And yeah, when you put a fib on there, swing low to where it is, and this still hasn't closed, by the way, so this could be very subjective. 618 level is right on this level. You've got to look in and around this area, even around here, $30. So try not to FOMO, but I will say this, I really do regret not buying this because it just seems like such an obvious play. And I talk about this on my Patreon a lot, a blueprint of simple investing. I don't know. In my comments, a lot of people will disagree with me and I don't care. But I've made a lot of money on this situation, right? If you were buying a coin that does very, very well in the previous cycle, and it retraces 28, 29 million gazillion thousand gazillion percents, which this has done in like the 90 pluses, ridiculous. And they maintain the team, they maintain the network effect and the utility of the token. There's a chance it will revive itself, right? Ethereum, great example. 2018 was horrific for Ethereum. It went down 94%. Did all right, didn't it? Cardano, VeChain. Yeah, there's other assets out there that have not had a bull cycle. Came out in a bear market, did very well. Why? Community was there. The utility was there. The network effect of the asset, Metcalfe's Law, whatever you want to know it as, was growing throughout the bear market. Solana is doing incredibly well and growing in this bear cycle. So that doesn't mean it's going to go to all time high. But what I'm saying is if you are buying at the lows and it almost gets to all time high, that's kind of an obvious pick when you think in the top end of the game. Now I know, as I said before, a lot of people will be like, well, Ash, you've got a bit of a problem here. New shiny stuff do well. But there's a good risk here that shiny stuff doesn't do well because markets move, markets change, and a lot of big money gravitates to the bigger cap coins because it's kind of proof is in the pudding, right? Kind of like stock market investing, right? A lot more risky going for the unknown entities. Right, let's talk about one final thing. Do I still believe that I should be buying this? Probably at some point, yes. But more as a trader, more than likely than an investment. I still believe this Solana token at, in its all entirety will be fantastic for trading, fantastic for traders, because it's going to be volatile. It's probably going to be a very, very good coin because of news, information that's going to come out of the back of this trial because of certain unlocks that will happen in a few years time. Stuff like that will give opportunity. If you're into trading and you want to know more about trading, link below to Learning Crypto. I'm currently trading on BitCat. There's a link there for some freebies if you are interested. But you've got to understand how markets move. With crypto, it's very, very different to the traditional market. But you've also got to think, look at the hype. This is going to get hyped up. It's going to probably go back up to these levels. May well pull back first though, just be mindful of that. It has had that pullback before, it hasn't had this one yet. We may well go much higher, but try not to FOMO. As much as I want this to go to the moon for everyone that's holding it, there is going to be potential triggers and potential sell-offs and potential things that may well happen and it may well catch you off guard. Anyways, enjoy.